Glenn means uh, pretty much everything to me. Uh, I started here when I was 21 years old, and now I'm 50. So you can imagine how many things I've seen and been a part of over the years. My experience here as a teacher has been very interesting. This is the first time I taught high school and in an all-boy environment, so I didn't know quite what to expect. And I was pleasantly surprised. I think the day that, um, that Mr. Pichardo's uh, funeral mass was held here at the school, I mean, I had been here a long time, uh, but I was blown away by the respect that the students showed uh, Mr. Pichardo and his family uh, when his casket was brought through the central patio and students came out for their, from their classes and were in complete silence and, and really respected the, uh, just the circumstances and, and what was going on that day here at the school. I gotta tell you, one of the things that I think really helped to bring you guys together was Art Martinez and you know, his whole struggle with cancer throughout the years that he was a student here. They were very loving, that's the only way I can describe it. You know, it sounds kind of gay and stuff, but <laughs> after going through a day of chemo, I remember I'd walk in eighth period and, and everybody would give me a standing ovation and, and it kind of like reminded, you know, it reminded me to keep pushing and that people were behind me through the whole process and that everybody was there for me. It really helped me to get through everything. Our, our grade is really something special. Fourth period, um, Mario Santiago, Tuto Moreiras, it was a very full class remember and I just started singing the verse of a song uh, by Led Zeppelin and they finished it off and that's one of those moments that you can't re recreate and it it's something that happens organically and it's and it's pretty unforgettable I still remember it and it still makes me smile. <laughs> Paulino obviously Paulino uh, his personality is one of those that that, um, that you're just drawn to and sometimes drawn a little bit too closely to but um, if you can, if you can get beyond some of the the shock value, he's been phenomenal. He's funny. He's a, he's great for a group because he brings guys together, and he um, he's very very uh, humble and, and and how he doesn't take himself too seriously. And I think that that's been very good. So he's made me laugh a lot. Um, probably the Key West game when everybody showed up in in scuba gear. That was one of the funniest memories I ever had when I saw everybody walking in with their flippers and their snorkels and the masks on and all that stuff. I don't think there's anything like it. I mean, our, our tradition and our, our personality really comes out. And uh, I think what makes it so special is the fact that other people don't understand it because it's unlike anything else I think I've ever seen. It's almost like a, a blend of healthy humor and sarcasm and uh, it just brings us closer together and it's something that's not really universally understood. It's, it's just for us. Uh, Mr. DQ, hey, we're here for an interview. I just wanted to know, how did it feel to get your own penance hall served on you by Mr. Sands? This year, it's still a little early. The only thing is that, that on defense, you know, we have a lot of seniors in the defensive backfield, but up front, we're pretty young and it's kind of, we've kind of played that way here early in the year. But I think that, uh, that as the season goes on, we're gonna get a lot better. So I don't know, right now it's still too early, you know? But by the end, I think we could do some really nice things if we, if we come along here on defense. We'll see. They, they did something very special here this year. They, they were able to accomplish what no other football team could do. They, they got us over the hump for the state championship game. I think the Booker T for the football game is probably my favorite memory. Uh, I know that we haven't been the most united class at times, but in the last three minutes of that game, everybody was like huddled up together, basically holding hands and holding their breath for three or four minutes. And when that kick right went in, just everybody lost control. It was pandemonium. And <laughs> everybody just rushed the field. That, 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 was, that was a really incredible memory for me. Um, that, that really sums up my blind experience, I guess, that game as a whole, because you have, you know, the, the family side of it, you have the athletic side of it, you have the unity side of it, you're there with all your classmates, your school basically, and it was just a, a time that we could all celebrate together. Uh, Reggie, I'll never forget um, Reggie at freshman year, Reggie called his freshman year, a um, little bit, had, a, had that little smile but wouldn't let himself go and would be afraid to joke around a little bit with just smile, just to see him evolve to where he can, he can uh, now dish it out himself and not just constantly take it from me but uh, dish it out. It's very much ingrained in my, in my brain, the fact that this is my first year as principal and that this is the first, this is the first senior class as principal. And uh, I gotta tell you, I, I feel to a very large extent somewhat indebted 
to the senior class because they have made this year, which is normally, I guess, a difficult year because it's the first year, they've made it very enjoyable. Well, you guys are on your senior encounter right now and going through one of the highlights of your senior experience and one of the more important moments of your senior year. You know, just really try to sit back and enjoy the moment, uh, relax, um, you don't have school to worry about, just put everything out of your mind and just try to absorb everything that's, that's shown to you and, and displayed to you over, this, over those three days. But to the class of 2010, ne never feel that you've done enough good. Uh, my message to the senior class is three simple words. You're going to go to different places very soon now, um, different experiences, different environments, but you can never be unfaithful to who you really are. Life is amazing. Take a few moments to reflect on everything that brought you here and uh, think about what, how you're going to prepare yourself for everything else that's going to happen. Yo. <laughs> Stay true to who you are, remember all that your parents and that your teachers, your family members have, have instilled in you. I just want to say thank you to the senior class for giving me the best seven years of my life.